guys. Are you sick of my face yet today? I bet you are. Oh well, we're doing another one anyway. So, <laughs> I'm doing another Bath and Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist. This one is in their new scent, Gingham, which I have been looking forward to ever since I heard it was going to be a thing. Honestly, even if it smelled like crap, I was going to buy it because of the bottle. It looks like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz's dress, therefore I had to. It's going to live next to my Get Happy. It'll be like my Judy Garland Bath and Body Works collection. Uh, the fact that they were uh, referring to In the Stars as a star is born briefly in their emails when it first came out. I also have that one next to it too because I'm like, mm, by proxy, it's kind of sort of almost Judy in my eyes. And I have both of them next to my Liza ones. So there's that. <laughs> I know you guys were like, you are insane. I know. I know. But anywho, so this is Gingham. It's it's very simple, but classy packaging. I like it. Very slightly light blue tinted cap. I mean, on camera, you don't really see it, but it does have a slight, very, very light blue tint, whereas the pump is dark blue. I like it a lot. I also have the candle in this scent. I kind of wish I had everything they make in this scent, but I only have those two things, so... Oh, well. Anywho, so I actually have my phone next to me so I can look up the scent notes on this one because they're not listed on the bottle and I can read you the overview of it and I have the price of it. Everything is just right here. So this one retails, actually, the price I would have known anyway since it's on the bottom, retails for $14.50. Um, again, I never pay full price since I always take advantage of the buy three, get two free deals and then layer a coupon on top of that, which is exactly what I did when I got this. Um, but anywho, so their overview of this guy. Ah, uh, fresh, vibrant, happy, our gingham fine fragrance mist is a celebration of everything you love about Bath & Body Works. Lavishly splash, <laughs> let's try that again, lavishly splash or lightly spritz, either way you'll fall in love at first mist. Which I did. <laughs> our carefully crafted bottle and sophisticated pump delivers great coverage while conditioning aloe mist nourishes skin for the lightest, most refreshing way to fragrance. And then the fragrance notes are a... <laughs> I can read a fresh blend of bright florals and a hint of sweet citrus. Notes of blue freesia, sweet clementine, and soft violet petals. So, I'm going to go ahead and put some more on. I was wearing it this morning, but I'll go ahead and put more on because it kind of fades throughout the day, so I don't mind. I like to wear a lot of it because it is good. Yay! So, there we go. So glad I can handle perfumes again, guys. You have no idea. I missed them terribly. So, when it is very brand newly applied, that, that's a phrase. I'm like, wait, that was very poor grammar. I'm sorry. That is about the only point where I get the sweet clementine out of it. When it's basically still damp, I feel that. And then, from there, I think what I'm smelling is the freesia. But once it's been on for a while, that freesia starts to fade more into the violet. So it's another one of those multi-dimensional scents from them that changes the longer you wear it. So it is good that I wear it first, see how it does, how it changes, and then reapply when I actually do these reviews. So once it's first applied, I would say that it's probably medium strength. It's not anything overpowering or overwhelming. Um, I would say this scent could work for any age. It's not an old lady scent. It's not a little kid scent. It's not a teenager scent. It just is very fresh. It can work for anyone who wants to wear this one. I know certain scents feel like they're more appropriate for certain age ranges, but this one I think works across the board for anyone who just thinks this one smells nice. So, uh, but yeah, like I said, it's nothing overpowering, but the caveat, the one weak point I have found with it, it does fade throughout the day pretty badly. I mean, you saw how much I put on of this, and I've put on about that much every time I've worn it at a time. I put on about that much this morning before I went grocery shopping. I was around maybe eight this morning. Currently it is, what time is it? 1.31 in the afternoon, so that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Five hours, it had faded down to really being faint. You had to put your nose right up against where it had been applied to even smell it anymore at that point. So it does fade pretty quick. 
that's its one flaw. So, oh, and it's an 8-ounce bottle, by the way. They do make a travel size of it as well. They also make the Diamond Mist version, but... Yeah, I think I'm kind of over their diamond mists just because the glitter gets everywhere. But um, I like the idea of it, but not the practicality. So, anywho, as I was saying, this one, I think I would rate a 4 out of 5. It would be a 5 out of 5 because I love the scent so hard. Just the way it smells, I would give a perfect 5 too. But for how badly it fades and how quickly, that's what's docking down its final score to a 4. Gotta be honest, so, um, I try not to be biased in any way, shape, or form when I do these, so, there's that. But, anyway, I think it is still really good. I think you guys should at least go to your local Bath & Body Works and smell it and see how you guys feel about it. I have not really heard anybody say a bad word about this yet, or anyone who has disliked it, even. So, there, there's pretty good odds that you'll like it when you try it. So, I don't think I've really run into another scent by them that smelled quite like this one before. I know they seem to be really guilty of repackaging scents under different names and just recycling them over and over and over to death. And this is not one of those. To the best of my knowledge, this is not one of those. And I have bought from them firsthand, personally, myself, with my own money for over 10 years and been exposed to their stuff pretty much as long as they've been a company since I was a little kid, since my mom and both my grandmas shopped there. So... You know, just, just saying. I don't think they've ever had one smell quite like this before. So that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> so anyway, that's about all I have to say about this one. So, as usual, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be quick, subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Do you guys have this one yet? What do you guys think of it? Love it? Hate it? Mm, about it? Anything at all down below? Or just anything about anything? Leave it down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything is all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So, anyway, guys, till next time.